Back in January of 2020, at the start of the pandemic, our team helped innovate the creation of a new operative procedure called robotic aortic valve replacement, which our team has now coined RAVR. This procedure is done through a small uh, three centimeter mini right thoracotomy at the level of the anterior axillary line, where we go in through the rib spaces to do a full surgical aortic valve replacement, but done robotically. Our team has uh, really pushed this envelope forward, largely at the egging on of our outstanding cardiologists to develop RAVR. I kept asking Dr. Badwar, why can't we do a robotic aortic valve replacement because we are able to do a robotic mitral valve surgery very easily. So with that conversation, Dr. Badwar has taken it as a challenge to bring everyone together and have a plan of a robotic aortic valve program at WVU Medicine. In many institutions, there is a preference to do transcatheter aortic valve replacements or TAVR, but there are many situations where uh, TAVR may or may not be the most ideal uh, procedure to treat aortic valve disease. Robotic aortic valve surgery is much easier on the patients in my opinion and so here at the WVU we offer robotic aortic valve replacement as the first option. As part of this development uh, we've recently hosted several thought leaders from around the world that wanted to learn more about robotic aortic valve replacement the goal of the group is to make this available to everybody so that we can train and educate as many colleagues as possible, but especially to make it available to every patient around the world. It's a very exclusive group of people from different centers, not only from America, but also from abroad. Most of the people here are leaders of uh, robotic uh, cardiac surgery, and uh, it's really been a joyful event from that standpoint just to meet everybody and develop a relationship, and I think this could be the new frontier of robotic cardiac surgeries. All of the surgeons are interested in starting the program and we had the experience to watch the whole procedure. It was commented by Dr. Badwar and uh, Dr. Lay directly from the operating room and we were able to ask questions and see all steps of the, of the procedure. It was really, really great. The aim of this meeting was to allow surgeons from around the world to provide their input and uh, for us to really ascertain how we can teach this procedure and make it more reproducible so many more surgeons and surgical teams can adopt this uh, technique of RAVR. I'm uh, emboldened and uh, exhilarated to, to, to do this uh, in Boston. Communicating with other teams uh, is very, very helpful because they are going through the same process that, uh, that we are going through. And then just learning from uh, Dr. Badwar and talking to each other and finding solutions uh, has been very, very, that's the best way to do it. It's really a pleasure to see this case. And uh, I think goes to, you know, certainly the team here has been developing this for the last three or four years and kind of perfected, I think, the way how to do it. So it's really great experience to meet people uh, who have the same uh, goal to, to expand the robotic cardiac surgery into the AVR field. Everybody is extremely helpful and uh, enthusiastic about his particular, its, uh, her particular role into, into this uh, team in this game, and you feel that. And I believe within the next 10 years, it's the place where, uh, in our profession, people will want to come to be trained and educated.